Get ready for the ultimate Halloween experience as we visit Spirit Halloween for the first time 2024. In our video, we're going to dive into the most exciting animatronics and costumes that are hitting the shelves this season. My name is Jessica Lynn, and I'm the curator here at Jessica Lynn Original Studios. So let's go and visit Spirit Halloween. Now, every year it is one of my favorite places to go. It really sort of gets me in the Halloween spirit. And what I think is funny is that Disney started pushing Halloween earlier and earlier, and now the Spirit Halloween stores have sort of followed suit. Every year they have some amazing animatronics, so let's go ahead and take a look at what they have out there. I thought for sure there was a yellow 
Now we filmed this on opening weekend and they still didn't have all of the animatronics up, which I'm kind of bummed about. And it looked like there were still quite a few costumes that were in the coming soon state. So we're gonna definitely have to go back and visit again. Although you can tell that Beetlejuice, I don't wanna say it two more times, is obviously going to be a big movie this year. Uh, they had an entire wall of Beetlejuice plus another wall of Beetlejuice, like wall decor, uh, art, etc. Adam's Family, always very, very popular. And what I like about the uh, Spirit Halloween stores is that they have all types of costumes. So they have scary ones, they have goofy ones, they have family costumes, kid costumes. And if you are putting on, let's say, a musical and you need some very specific costumes, uh, sometimes at the end of the season, they will offer them at discounted rates. So definitely watch for that. They also will on their website sometimes offer um, coupons that you can bring in that'll be like 25, 50% off, just depends. Uh, so always go and take a look at their website before you head in, especially if you're thinking about picking up a costume that day. Always lots of Western, lots of pirates. Barbie was still all over the place. Um, there was also quite a bit of medieval and it looks like they didn't get all of their stock left or that's the only Beetlejuice sandworm that was left, but they are starting to sort of bring them all out. So it'll be really exciting over the next couple of weeks to see how many more costumes and animatronics show up. We have a couple of stores near us, so I might try and visit another one just to see if we can find other animatronics that weren't necessarily out. Like, for example, the uh, Corpse Bride, they actually have the two main characters as animatronics, and I really want to see what those look like. Oh, I found more in the store, so let's go take a look. Abandon all hope. There is no escape. <laughs> I would love to hear from you. What are you thinking about being for Halloween this year? 
go ahead and comment that down below. Um, we're still trying to put together some ideas for what we want and maybe you guys will spark up an idea for our trick-or-treat this year. Last year we went as Eddie and Chrissy from Stranger Things, which was a complete blast. We had so much fun. Now this year we're not going to be going to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, so I kind of feel like our costume choices could be much larger than they've been in the past, only because I don't have to try and carry that on a plane and then uh, check it in and do all that fun stuff. The other thing I really like about the Spirit Store is that they have a lot of unique things. So they've got like stuffs, so they've got unique hats, they've got masks, and then they have a lot of Halloween wall decor. So there is a whole section where they have got, I'm not sure what that blue thing is, it's cute though. Um, they have a whole section where it is filled with different scary Halloween movies, um, floor mats, you can get signs, uh, candle holders, and there are even some haunted mansion uh, like items that you can get. Some of the wall sconces, the bats that kind of cue you off when you're on the ride. Uh, Sanderson Sisters, there's a ton of Hocus Pocus. Um, you can see there are some of those floor mats. I was kind of surprised to see Deadpool, although I feel like Deadpool's everywhere. And I wonder, and this is just my two cents on this one. We went and saw the movie, absolutely loved it. I won't spoil anything, right? No spoilers. Um, I just wonder how many Deadpool variants there will be in my neighborhood. So I've been, we've been joking that we should probably put in a number just to see. Um, but that we have actually talked about that quite a bit, that there will probably be quite a few different variants just because that was sort of the theme. I do love that they have a lot of Halloween decor. Um, again, here's some of that Haunted Mansion. I do have that lantern with the four, um, this one right here, yeah. I have that at home already and I put some of those tiny lights in there with the little battery pack. It lights the whole thing up and it's absolutely beautiful. I was able to find some of these little curtains. Now those actually say Haunted Mansion, but I did find some of those for a shelf in my house. And there are also like these candle holders, which are really cute. I would love to put a couple of small like tea light, fake tea lights in those because they look like the, um, the cemetery plots, which is kind of fun. And then over here, there are a lot of other pieces of decor and you can see there's a lot of open space. So I'm really kind of interested to see what all will show up over the next couple of weeks because there's no way that this is everything um, and we are there we were there early august so this was opening weekend so there was also a lot of harry potter which was fun um, we have done movie nights where we'll do like dinner and a movie and all of that and I actually thought it'd be really fun. Uh, the kids are starting to get interested into Harry Potter. So I thought if we did a Harry Potter dinner and a movie night where we theme all the food to that, that would be really cool to hang like four of those flags up in the kitchen or in the where we dine. I think that could be really fun. Uh, no feet, absolutely love that. Made me kind of giggle, kind of laugh, kind of just funny. And then over here, tons of Sanderson sisters. Uh, I have, there's a Hocus Pocus blanket that they have that's really nice. Um, that one down there, see the one with the three sisters, the silhouette. It's really soft, super nice. Again, if you wait till I would say mid-September, they start offering coupons. You can save 20, 30, 40% off some of these items. Um, and I've seen where in the past, they used to have items that would disappear and never came, come back. I feel like Spirit has now had a lot of reoccurring things like, oh, we bought a lot of this item and they'll put it away for a couple of weeks and then all of a sudden it shows up and people buy them all quick and they've done a lot of that. So depending on what it is, like I said, I have yet to see a lot of things completely sell out. Um, if you do a Nightmare Before Christmas, I have a video that I will link that you can take a look at. There's actually a house in my neighborhood that does a amazing Nightmare Before Christmas house. Um, so I'll link that. So if you see like the little video, click on that if you want to watch it. It's really cool. Like he painted tons of large stand-ups and lit them all and it's it's phenomenal. So well, let's go ahead and finish up here at the Spirit Store and see what else we can find.
Well, and as I said that, I realized we were already back to the front. So I do want to take a moment to say thank you so much for watching. I'll put up a couple other videos for you to watch. And I hope that you will subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Again, don't forget to comment down below. What are you going to be for Halloween 2024?